Now in Crane's Corner, last night's vice presidential debate. It wasn't an event of biblical proportions, but there certainly was a Cain and Abel element, as Mike Pence proved himself much more able than Tim Kaine. Pence admittedly has a lot of broadcast training. He was a radio talk show host, and he was cool as a cucumber for most of the night, hardly rattled by dozens of interruptions lobbed across the bow by the Democrat from Virginia, who seemed to be on a badly conceived mission to play gotcha with Donald Trump's running mate. Truth took some body blows from both debaters, but hey, they're politicians. My favorite moment, well, that came when Pence accused former Secretary of State Clinton of taking millions of dollars from the foreign sources she met with while traveling, supposedly on official U.S. government business. Kane didn't exactly deny the meetings, but pivoted to a grand description of the good work that Bill and Hill's foundations had been doing, failing to mention that Clinton cronies Donna Shalala and Bruce Lindsay run things, bringing down a combined compensation package of over a million dollars for a charity. Check the foundation's numbers on Charity Navigator and you'll find the foundation gives to just four components, healthcare, something called the Clinton Global Initiative, climate change, and the Clinton Presidential Center. It spent $28 million this year on the Presidential Center, which was about 25% more than it spent on climate change. And while Kane claims no Clinton family members benefited, 28 large to the Clinton Presidential Center sounds like pretty good seed money for a slush fund. Kane also gave his potential boss credit for the Iranian arms deal, largely negotiated by John Kerry, who followed her, and his claim that it put an end to Iran's nuclear program is just ludicrous. The agreement, don't call it a deal, pumps billions of dollars back to Iran and lets the home base for world terrorism avoid those pesky little visits from international inspectors. Conclusion, if you watched the debate and had issues with Donald Trump going in, you should be confident there's some substance and measured experience on the back of the ticket. If you had qualms about Hillary Clinton, you might just wish Tim Kaine was an email, another Clinton mistake that could be easily deleted. That's Crane's Quarter. I'm Ed Crane.